Good morning, TFC. Good morning. What well, may we stand? Let's go before the throne of grace. Let us give God praise in the building. God, in the name, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now for everything that you're doing. God, we bless your name that doors have been open all week. God, we thank you that explosive favor have been over our lives all week. God, we thank you that it continues to be explosive favor over our lives. God, we bless you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, as we go into deep groups, God, we thank you for your word that is being manifested in our lives right now. God, we thank you that as we go into deep groups, God, we continue to be shown your word that you are with us and that your word still stands today, that you have never left us, nor will you ever abandon us. So God, we bless you right now for a community and a gathering of believers right now that we have the ability to stand on your word. When times get hard, we stand on your word. When times get tough, we stand on your word. And because we're victorious, we stand on your word. Because we have favor, we stand on your word. God, we bless your name in every area of our life. That every in every area that we look, that there's favor. TFC make a joyful noise in this place. Because there's favor. Because there's favor, make a joyful noise. Let God hear you right now in this place that there's favor. And God, we bless you. God, we thank you. We magnify you in every area of our life, God. Let us know right now that as we get ready to face the devil, not only do we say for it is written, but we say, Satan, you're absolutely defeated in every area of our lives. And God, right now, we just bless you for making room. God, we bless you for our community. God, that we get to go into and we just get to praise your name. We get to pray unto you. We get to worship you in every area of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Come on, people of God. Let's begin to raise our voices in the house. Come on, raise your praise right here. Raise your voices in this place. Hallelujah. The Bible says to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Now, any, did anybody come with a praise on your lips? Can y'all say this? Oh, 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 oh. People that's ready to give God praise, come on, come on and praise Him. Come on, come on and bless Him. Hey, come on, come on, come on and bless Him. Come on and praise Him. Come on and bless Him. Let's bless the Lord. Say, come on, come on, come on and bless Him. Come on and praise His name. Come on, come on and bless Him. Anybody 
grateful for the mercy of God. Say for the Lord delights. Show me that His mercy. Say the Lord delights. Show the Lord delights. Show me mercy. to the house. Let's pick them up. Let's put them down. Say, yeah. See, when I move, when I move my mouth, when I move when my feet, I move my feet when, when I open my mouth, open my mouth then, the then the darkness, you got to move your body. Pick up your feet. When I open my mouth, then the darkness, when Fill this place with praise. Ooh, glory to your name, Jesus. Ooh, glory to God. Let praises rise from the inside. Yes, from the inside of me. Fill me up with 
your glory from the inside. Fill us up with your holy presence, God. Set me on fire. Let the fire of God burn inside of me. See, see from the inside of me. Because this is your people's desire. Say, all we want is for you. It's for you to get the glory.
of you understand that it is in these moments that the Lord is able to move. It's in these moments when we bow down and we release everything to him, every situation that we've gone through, every circumstance that we've dealt with, when we say, Lord, I give it to you. Lord, I can't do anything by myself, but God, everything that I have, every circumstance that I'm dealing with, Worship him on today. We give him our all on today. We give him our everything on today, leaving nothing behind. God, we worship you, Father, because you're great, oh God. Thank you for being a loving God. Thank you for being a gracious God. Thank you for meeting us in the point of our needs, Father. We love you and we worship you on today. We love you, Lord God. And we 
we're so grateful. Are we a grateful people on today? Let's worship the Lord right where we are. God, we worship you. I'm reminded of when Joshua, when they were fighting the battle and God told the army to go around Jericho seven times. And what I believe is the walls came down, yes, because they were praising him, but the walls also came down because they were obedient to his word. And so when they walked around seven times, the last time is when the walls came tumbling down, when they blew the horn and they praised the name of the Lord, the walls came down. And I just want you to remember that it's because of our obedience and our praise and opening up to the Lord that every situation that you go through, that the Lord can meet you and the Lord will deal with that and he'll meet you at your knees. So let's give God a hand clap of praise on today. Thank you, Lord God. Father, we thank you, Lord God. Well, we are so excited to be here on today. Thank you all for worshiping with us on today on uh, TFC and Faith Nation. And so if this is your first time visiting with us, we simply want to say thank you. They are going to put a QR code up on the screen. And so if you'll make sure that you scan that QR code, if you're online, they're gonna drop a link. Go ahead and drop, go ahead and fill out that information and we simply wanna connect with you. And so if you feel the presence of the Lord on today and if you need to hear from the Lord on today, can we give God another praise right now? Hallelujah. Amen, amen. We're going to continue to worship the Lord, Lord in our giving. Yeah, you can have your seats at this time. We're going to continue in our giving. A great time, great place to praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here at TFC, we practice the biblical tenet of tithing, which is giving your first 10%, returning your first 10%. To God, and that's this time that we take now for our tithe and our offering. Faith Nation, you'll see on your chat a ways that you can give. And here in the room, you'll see there are multiple ways that you can give. You can give via our app, you can give via our website, you can give via our envelope system. And you'll see we have three different envelopes there. First of all, our tithe and offering envelope that I talked about. We have our pastor's love gift envelope that I've talked about. Yeah, yeah, that's a good place. Good place right there. Well, you can sow into the life of Pastor and Lady C. And as Pastor says, same grace on his life, multiply in yours. And then we've got a special, a special envelope for our special offering. Yeah, yeah, million dollar day. You excited about million dollar day? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can start to give, or you can give it all right now for our million dollar day. That's where we're going to stretch. We're going to do as God says. We're going to give our million dollars, pay off this mortgage here. Yeah. Yeah, pay off the mortgage here. And then all of our resources goes toward what we are doing across the street, right? And what God has given us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if you have your offering ready, would you stand, please, your tithe offer? Would you stand with me? We're going to make our giving confession. We're going to pray. So good to see everybody here. Y'all look good today. You feel good? Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's make our confession. You'll see it on the screen at this time. Let's do it together. Father, I thank you for this opportunity to give into your kingdom. I give generously to you because I love you. I will not withhold my whole tithe and generous offering. I believe by faith that this tithe, offering, seed, or sacrificial gift will have a great impact on my quality of life. I receive the open windows of heaven in my life. I am blessed and my family is blessed because I am a giver. Can we say that one again? Let's just say that. Hold on, hold on. We're going to do it together. But I want us to really think about what it says, okay? 
All right, we're going to do it together. One, two, three. I am blessed, and my family is blessed. Why? Because I am a giver. Yeah, all of my needs are met in abundance. I command money to come to me and the faith center now. In Jesus' name, would you say amen? amen. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We thank you. We adore you. Father, we ask that you continue to provide increase for us, continue to give for us so that we can build up your kingdom because truly that is what we're here to do. Father, we love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. You can have your seats at this time. Those that desire to give a physical offering, you can take your envelopes and at the duration of our service, you're going to place them in our giving kiosk. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for being a generous church. What's going on, TSC and Faith Nation? My name is Joshua Austin. And my name is Caleb Austin. And, and we're, we're here with your Sunday announcements. TFC family, D groups are back. At TFC, we know how to do life together. D groups are a perfect way to bond through the word and encourage each other in our daily lives. If you haven't signed up today, make sure you register now. Calling all new partners, we have a special invite for you. Our new partner celebration will be happening on Saturday, April 20th at 11 a.m. If you have joined TFC between the months of October 2023 and March 2024, this is an invite for you. Be sure to attend. TFC Men, 3D Men's Bible Study is right around the corner, April 24th at 7.30 p.m. We're going to be diving into the scripture, strengthening our faith, and getting to know other brothers on the same path to life. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Calling all parents of TFC seniors, we are so happy to announce that we will be giving five recipients a $1,000 scholarship by way of the Alma Johnson and Earl Campbell Scholarship Fund. But please make sure to get your submissions in on time because the deadline is May 12th, 2024. Please visit the TFC Atlanta app for more details of the submission. This has been Caleb Austin and Joshua Austin, and, and these, these have been your, your Sunday, Sunday announcements. If you want more information about the announcements that you heard today, scan this QR code now. To stay in the know on all the great things that are happening here at the Faith Center, open up your phone, go to the Google Play or Apple App Store, and download the TFC Atlanta app today. A D group is a gathering of men and women, journaling, reading scripture, and discussing it amongst ourselves so that we can in turn tell others about how good God has been to us. A D group to me is a way that uh, we can connect outside of the church. A lot of times we don't have an opportunity to connect and do community together. In a D group, I was able to find more friends that I had been attending church with that had never even spoken to each other. I found an understanding more, listening to others about how they read a scripture, the way I read a scripture, and the way we are able to articulate it to each other. D groups has changed my life. I was a little bit skeptical about meeting because I was one of these people that said, oh, I'm not gonna do this. But then I did it. And I went to my first one and I wasn't facilitating, I just attended, and I, I learned so much from it, and I enjoyed it. And the next time around, I started facilitating, and I've been doing that ever since. The reason I feel that you should join a D group, because number one, we already said it, it's community, but it's very simple to connect. Not just to connect with people, it's also connect, you know, digitally. Within the next 20 seconds, now is the time to take out your phones and scan this QR code. Do this for you. 
find a D group and watch God transform your life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, family. Hallelujah. Has God moved a mountain in your life? I'm so grateful I can't, this is my testimony, y'all. I'm gonna try to act right today. <laughs> but this is my real life testimony. I got so much to
sign of maturity that says, it's a sign of maturity that says, I'm not only just going to praise you for the blessings, I'm going to praise you for the mountains, I'm going to praise you for the trials. Can I help about eight people in here? Sometimes the enemy jumps on you when you're in the trial or you're scaling the mountain. But I'm going to tell you right now, get your faith up and get your praise up because that's how you get to the blessing. I need somebody. You might have tears running down your face, but I dare you to lift up a praise in the house. I dare you to worship him at home because we're going to praise the God of every mountain, of every child, but the grown folk going to praise him when you get to the blessing. Come on, give it up to him right here. somebody beside you, you're going to make it through this. You're going to make it through this. Can y'all must, can, can y'all hear me? Tell somebody, you're going to make it through this. Now just don't let them praise by themselves. Help them praise so they can scale the mountain to get. I need to tell about four people, you're going to make it through this. You hold your head up. God's going to see you through this, but you're going to have to praise your way. Don't mind these people. There you go, baby. Just praise the Lord. Don't worry about these people. <laughs> Y'all gonna let her praise all by herself. Is there anybody in this room, your money didn't get you out, your friends didn't get you out, your followers didn't get you out, it was a...
the validity of the weatherman based on the Doppler radar. The weatherman, the meteorologist, will stand there on Monday based on the Doppler radar and tell you what's going to happen on Thursday. And you never question the meteorologist based on the Doppler radar and you start making plans to not go outside because it's going to rain or I just want to tell about three people because of what you just released according to the spiritual forecast by Thursday see that don't mean nothing to some of y'all some of y'all need a God to show up on Tuesday. By Thursday, you just changed your homes. My, 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 my. Somebody say by Thursday, by Thursday, by Thursday. That whole thing go turn. Can we be Pentecostal? I dare somebody to just. What are y'all doing? We turn it around because God just turned it around. Turn it in my favor. Turn it in my favor. Turn it in my situation. Turn it my towel around. Turn it my money around. It just. Some of y'all may be wondering, <laughs> what did I just walk into? What kind of church is this? You just walked into the favor zone. I'm sorry. Everybody in here just got favor on their life, and God is just working it. I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, I'm not sorry. I'm not making no apology for what God is doing. Sooner or later, gonna turn in my favor. He's working it out for me. Come on, outstretch hands. Hands stretched out over the building. Thank you, Jesus. 
around for me, around for me. Turning around for me, sooner or later. Sooner, 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 in my favor. sooner, later. Turn in my favor. Turn it around for me. Around for around for me. Around for me.
Let's pray, Father. We, uh, <laughs> we glorify you and we thank you that you are the God of all seasons. And we thank you that you're working everything out for our good. Thank you for this moment of unscripted praise. And we make no apologies of our expression for our love for you. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus this opportunity that we have to fellowship together around your word. Now, Holy Spirit, be the teacher, making complex things simple, have your own divine way. Thank you right now that you think with my mind, you speak with my mouth, you give me clarity of thought and clear articulation to make known the mysteries of the gospel. Uh, there are people that you've sent here today, Father, that need to start a reunite an authentic relationship with you. Given the opportunity, nothing will stop them from choosing you as Lord and Savior. Also, Father, there are people that you sent here today uh, that need a place to call home, a faith family, a tribe. Uh, given the opportunity in this building or online, nothing will stop them uh, from joining the Faith Center on the day. But most of all, this is a gathering of victorious believers in Satan. You're absolutely defeated in every area of our lives. We give you alone all the praise, the glory, the honor. It belongs to you and all of God's people. Say amen. Amen. Everybody, let's uh, make our confession for the Word of God. Brother, I don't know what you brought to the Lord that you laying down, but I'm going to tell you, when you get to your feet, you're not going to see life the same no more. I don't know what that scripture that says, the giants that you saw today, you will see no more. Whatever giant you were fighting before you came to this altar, you ain't going to have to fight that no more. Where my little fire start at with that red hair? Where she at? That's you right there? You don't even know what you just did. You just outran a generational curse, girl. I'm going to tell you right now, just get thicker skin because your family going to start asking questions. Who you think you is? You think you better than us? No, nope. I just ain't under the curse no more. Uh, Y'all, <laughs> don't make... Uh... <laughs> and I want to let you know, money accompanies this praise you just gave. You better... <laughs> <laughs> Y'all praise God. Don't be no hater. Don't be no hater. Y'all watch out. She might run. She might run. Y'all watch out. Because if you've been tied up and tangled up, when God sets you free, something happens to your feet. I just talked to somebody over here. Don't you let her be the only one get this word. Here we go. Come on, let's make our faith confession for the Word of God. The applied Word of God will change my life instantly. I'm both a hearer and a doer of the Word. I live to please God, therefore I walk by faith and not by sight. 
I will possess my promises. I will pursue with passion. I will prosper as my soul prospers. What are you playing? This place. All I have needed, thy hands has provided. This song says, great is thy faithfulness. Will you play that? Can you turn him up, please? Great is thy, great is thy faithfulness. This is my season. Okay, okay. Do me a favor. I got to give you some word. Give, do me a favor. Before you sit down, prove this is not a stuck-up church. Would you spread love to two or three people around you and tell them good morning? Online. You got to feel this at home. I need you to check in. I need you to share this. I need you to buckle up. We got a quick ride. It's going to be like a flight to Jacksonville. We're going to take off quick and land fast. Don't miss what God wants to do. I need everybody that's on Facebook. I need you to go to Facebook. I need you to share this quickly. We should at least have two to 300 shares. It's more than about 700 people in this room. I also want to give you some quick things as we get into the word. I'm, 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 I'm going to give you about, about good 15, 20 good minutes of the word. It's going to be worth it. Listen to me. Uh, I got a vision night coming up uh, on May the 2nd at 7.30. I want every single partner of this church to log on to this vision night. I want to give you some more things concerning what God is doing with our new facility. And I want to see uh, it, who, what's your sphere of influence, what things you know, how can you assist. There's a lot of information sitting in this room. And so I don't believe we need to pay for everything we want to do. I believe there's opportunities to do stuff, and I would love to uh, give an opportunity to some partners that have credible, proven track records to be able to make some of this money that we got to spend. In Jesus' name, we got about $24 million worth of building that we have to build out, and it would be great for some of you all to be able to receive some of that if, if your business is up to snuff. In Jesus' name, but I don't want just the business opportunities. Um, this is not for your cousin. Don't invite your cousin and your sister. I don't know them. They don't go here. I don't like them like that. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just, y'all know me, y'all know me. That's why y'all go here, y'all know me. Um, but no, I want all the partners to get, get caught up on the vision. Um, our D groups, if you're in a D group, will you wave at me? If you're in a, very good, very good. Our D groups are our discipleship groups. We have 1,048 people in discipleship groups. Yep, yep. As you leave this facility today, you need to sign up for a D group. Say sign up for a D group. Don't hold me to these notes because I feel like going absolutely off right now. I'm talking through these announcements so I can contain myself. 
Now, guests, I'm going to be honest with you, guests, at the end of this service, when I ask you to join this church, don't take all day. Look at them. Look, look to the side of you and say, don't mess this service up. Yeah. Come on, ladies. I ain't got my lashes either. Tell them. You better act right. I done cried my lashes off too. You better get right. You better get right. You better get right. I started this series on explosive favor. 8.30 was so gangster and ghetto, I almost didn't get off the first page. No, them people was cutting up, man. Because this is not a series where I'm trying to impress you with information. This is a series where I'm trying to give you an impartation of faith for you to receive the explosive favor of God. So let's see how this goes. Our message translation of Amos 9, 13 through 15 we used this on last week. We're going to read it again as a family. Someone say, Lord, Lord I, receive I receive explosive favor explosive. over my life. Over my One more time. Lord, Lord I, receive I receive explosive, explosive, favor, explosive favor, in favor in my life, on my life, in my life, on my life, in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Now seal it with a praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's read the scripture. It's on the screen right here. Let's go, y'all. Yes, indeed, it won't be long now. Okay, for everybody that's been waiting, I just need you to hear it won't be long now. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Things are going to... Uh-huh. Let's go. Okay, let's go, let's go. Right here, let's go. Shout this right here. Y'all acting get up. Katie, sit down. Jan, sit down. Robert, sit down. Nate, sit down. Lindy, sit down. Campbell, sit down. Sit down. Get, get off your foot. Sit down. Somebody shout blessing. Come on. Let's, re let's finish reading. Let's finish reading. Blessings like... Three simple things that we need to see. Here we go. Number one, number one, number one. God is decreeing the favor. You need sermon notes. If you don't have them, you got to get them from the ushers. They're selling them right now. Five dollars a piece. You need sermon notes right now. Somebody say, God's saying this. I need y'all to understand this. When God says it, it can't be changed or stopped. Uh, no. See, y'all, oh, let's unravel the scripture. This is unraveling it. When God is, God's decreeing this. Number two, number two, number two, let's go. Now, see, that doesn't seem like much. But you have to understand, things are going to happen, not maybe. Somebody say, it's happening, it's happening. You, you, you know sometimes somebody give you their word and say they're going to help you move or they're going to lend you $5 and, and it's like, well, it's, it's a maybe. It's a book you can't count. It's a possible. No, this is the big joker. It's, go, it's, it's guaranteed. Number three, number three, number three, let's go. Let me make that countryfied. What God is about to do in your life is going to be so big, you're going to need some of your friends to help you with this. Okay. That's why you can't have no haters around you because you're going to have to help me with this harvest. Okay, y'all, <laughs> here we go, here we go. Now, pastor, you can't, you can't just say that and, and have no proof. Well, Jesus now encounters the disciples. Simon is fishing, and, uh, and, and now he, he fished and toiled all night, as the scripture said, and he caught nothing. Jesus comes and says, hey, can I use your boat to be 
the evangelistic tool for me to preach out of. And Jesus goes out. That was one time he went to preach, but this time he goes, hey, let's go out in the boat. I want, he said, Jesus, we, we've been fishing all night and we didn't go with Pastor Campbell. We didn't catch nothing. <laughs> he says, but nevertheless, watch that, at your word, I'll go. But then Jesus says, hey, I want you to let down your nets. Plural. And he says, okay, I'll let down my net. Can you put that proof text up there? Because they don't believe me. They don't believe me. They don't believe me. But you follow, come on, come on, you got to put this there. Now, now when he had left speaking, he said unto them, keep going, 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 keep going. Let out your, uh, no, go back, go back, go back. Let out into the deep and let down your, come on, y'all. Yes. For what? A draw. A draw is a big catch of fish. Somebody say, God said it's going to be big. God said it's If it's going to be big, you can't have a little praise. If it's going to be big, you can't have a little mind. If it's going to be big, you better act big, walk big, talk big, think big. Pray. Somebody shout big. Let out, let out to the... I just saw something. This is going to bless three people. Some of you, it's not that you've been fishing wrong. You've just been fishing too shallow. And you've been wondering, God, when is this going to work? God, when is my... God say, it only works out here. You got to come where the big fish are so you can stop messing with little-minded I don't care if you don't get it. I need somebody to understand this is about to be big. You hadn't gotten the house because God is thinking five bedrooms. You happen with three. Somebody say big. He's not handing out 50 cent bonuses in this season. It's 20,000, 30,000, 50,000. Big. Put out. Down your nets for a drop. We got to go. And Simon answered said unto him, Hey, hey, master, we done fished all night. We ain't caught nothing. Nevertheless, because of this sermon, No, this is his word. Ne nevertheless, because I came to church on Sunday. Bring me that camera right there. Nevertheless, because I'm on this stream that my cousin invited me to, I'm going to obey what the voice of God said. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, my eight people over there. God, I'm trying. God is not going to punish you because your faith quotient isn't at the level of what he wants to bless you. He's just going to teach you a quick lesson. When you're thinking addition, he's thinking multiplication. Okay, let me show you. Come on, come on scripture, 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 scripture. And, and, when they, and when this was done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes. What happens? It seems that, watch, if you've enclosed a great multitude and your net break, that you lost all that God has for you. Somebody say, not when the favor is on your life. <laughs> some of y'all done lost some stuff. But in this season, because of the favor, I'll show you in the next verse. You can't lose this season. Watch. Some of y'all don't care yet. Their net break. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And and they beckon unto their. I told you you gonna need somebody to help you. Which were in another ship. That they should come and help me with these contracts. Watch. 
The thing I learned about God is this. When he orders a blessing, he does it according to his desire. What do you mean by that? Here we go. And he's come. And they came and they feel. Somebody say, think big, think big, think big, think big, think big. Why would God, God dog it, why would God tell you to come fishing? Watch, know the capacity of your nets to only order something that you can't handle. This is next Sunday, but I'm going to give you a snippet right now. I'm trying to get you in a position where you'll stop thinking about God favoring you because favor is when God raises up somebody to use their power, their ability, and their influence to help you. One more time. Favor is when God raises up somebody to use their power, their ability, and their influence to help you. One more time for everybody in the back. Favor is when God raises up somebody to use their power and their ability and their influence to help you. I'm trying to preach you to a place that you're not looking for favor anymore. People start looking for you because you're the favor that God has raised up. And so now I got to call you. That's next week. Come on. And they came and filled both the ships so that they began to sink. Somebody say, boat sinking blessing. But if you keep reading the scripture, notice now, his net break, but his ship was still full. It said, begin to sink. It didn't sink. I ain't gonna even, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna wait on the written revelation for next week. Here we go, here we go. Three simple things we need to do. Come on, come on, come on. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Three simple things that we need to do. Y'all taking too long, asking too many questions. Let's go. Does anybody feel this thing? No. Does anybody feel the favor of God? And I know somebody saying, well, what proof you got? My faith is my evidence. I've been arguing with God's word long enough. And if God said I'm blessed, I'm blessed. If God said I'm favored, I'm faith. I don't need you to like, share, tag. Three simple things that we need to do. Number one, everybody read this with passion. Come on, let's go. What did God say? If God said it, come on, old school, I believe it. And what? That's it. Number two, number two, number two, here we go. Okay, now you got to write this one down. You got to release your faith. Say release your faith. You don't understand, or you need to understand, that faith is a servant. Write that down. Faith is a servant. It goes and it serves your newest or latest desire. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Watch. So now, if you just stay in hope, you never transition the hope into faith, which becomes substance and a servant. Most of you are very hopeful, but you're not faithful. <laughs> you're, oh, I hope, I hope. Oh, no, 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 no. Somebody say faithful. Now, normally times when we hear the word faithful, it means dependable to the task. No, no, I'm talking about full of faith. I'm faithful. So when I'm faithful, my faith now becomes the servant to what I was hoping for, and it goes and performs on my behalf. But when you don't allow your servant anything to serve, it's no purpose in having it if you're not going to use it. 
Somebody say, release your faith. Release your faith. No, you got to release your faith to go and serve you. Well, then the question is, how do I release my faith, Pastor Campbell? Faith is released by the words of your mouth. Faith is released by the words of your mouth. Faith is released by the words of your mouth. Every time you are full of faith because your mouth is the overflow valve of your heart. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So if your heart is full of faith, it's going to overflow out of your mouth. And when it overflows out of your mouth, faith cometh by hearing. So when your heart is full of faith, it overflows out of your mouth. Faith comes and watch. When faith comes, it does not come empty-handed. Somebody say, release your faith. Release your faith. Some of us don't understand how the faith process works. And you're timid by other people. Or, 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 or you're timid because of other people. And you're hesitant to speak because people know your condition. Jesus just showed us. Jesus says, the condition of your current ship has nothing to do with the potency of my faith statement. So some of you, for the next eight minutes that I have, you're so scared to speak because you're looking at the current condition of your ship. Jesus walks on an empty boat and says, I call this boat full in, G in my name. He didn't say, let's go fishing and hope we say something and hope we catch something he says let down your nets for a draw all I'm trying to get somebody to see is you got to be comfortable saying what God says concerning the word of God no matter what your situation looks like okay so okay next one number three number three say this let's go come on with some passion let's go he says that Things are going to happen so fast, your head will swim. It says they'll be on the heels of one another. Favor isn't needed to assist stationary people. That's good, sir. Favor is needed. Just catch it on YouTube. It's, you can run back there. Catch, fa favor is needed to assist people that are going after something. Amen. Why would God raise up someone to use their power, their ability, or their influence to help you do nothing? When we said favor, it's God raising up someone to use their power, their ability, influence. Here, here. I got a favor declaration, but y'all done praised all y'all time away. So I'm going to move on. <laughs> How y'all going to Debo me into a declaration? Can I speak this over your life? Here we go. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for excess, support, aid, and help in all areas of life. I make myself available for supernatural and natural assistance. This is what you're saying. I thank you, God. I'm a magnet for help. People will go out of their way to help me accomplish my goals, my dreams, and visions to have a life filled with joy. Say, I received that. I received that. My family is blessed because of the favor that's on my life. Watch this. We experience the best. We live in the best. We ride the best. We eat the best. We wear the best. Watch, and we're able to give to others in a great quantity because of your favor. That's a place to celebrate right there. Here we go. I expect free, wholesale, discounted, front of the line, preferential treatment in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, that your eyes are open and my ears are tuned to those who you prepared to aid me. I no longer walk by myself. I walk with the aid of others supporting me in my goals, my dreams, and my visions. 
Thank you, God, for the favor with you and man. In Jesus' name, I receive it now. Shout amen. Here we go. So God now raises up someone to use their power, ability, or uh, influence to help you. That means that favor is spiritual. Because God has to speak to someone. To all of our guests, forgive us today. They, they just is acting, just as undignified. You wouldn't think nobody had been to school, got no home training. We running, kicking stuff, screaming, taking off wigs. We, we sorry. We sorry. We sorry. I'm sorry. Some of my men like, this is what you brought me to? I thought you said this was a cool church. We are. We, we. It's hard to contain the favor of God. And, and when you've been waiting as long as some of us have, this is like Christmas morning. We can't sleep. We got to go downstairs because everything we've been praying for just Okay, all right, okay. I just apologize and y'all ruined the apology. So now, since it's spiritual, watch. Since favor is spiritual, I must approach uh, the spiritual assignment with this. Number one, number one, consecration. Consecration how? In my prayer, my praise, in my consecration how? In my prayer, my prayer. You have to stay, as, as we say in the old church, prayed up. But then I'm going to tell you this right here. This is not a time for you to be dormant in your praise life. This, this is not a time for you to be dormant. No, you have to consecrate yourself through prayer, praise, and worship. But then I need to have my confession. Speaking the word, what, y'all? So you need to say what God says about you daily, but then you also need to speak the word of God. I will not fear, for God, you are with me. No, I'm blessed going in and blessed going. You got, you got to speak the word. You got to confess the word. So we, we were getting ready this morning and, you know, and, and you know, I'm getting dressed. And, and ladies, she like to talk to slow me down. And all the men know about that because we normally get dressed before our wives anyway. You know what I'm saying? Fellas, back me up if you can, if you're not scared. If you're scared, I understand why you're scared. I understand. I understand. I understand. Because, you know, God's still working on her. And she got a little Mike Tyson in her. I understand. I understand. I understand. So, no, but check this out. We're getting dressed, and we're talking about the movies we watched last night. We're talking about the stuff we ate. We're talking about what we're going to eat today. We're just talking about the girls. We're talking about the church. And just out of nowhere, she said, Whoa, Father, I just thank you for the million dollars in Jesus' name. So, I said, hey, what? You talking to me? No, no, no. I was, I was just talking to God. I said, okay. So, we keep talking, and then next thing you know, we're in there brushing our teeth. Father, I thank you for the million dollars in Jesus' name. Then I said, okay, baby, I'm about to go because, you know, I'm dressed first and I'm leaving. I said, baby, I'm going. I said, whoa. Father, I thank you for the million dollars in Jesus' name. She's confessing the million dollar day even though we hadn't received it yet. Some of you are so scared to confess based on what other people going to think. Let them think whatever they want to think. You just confess the word. But then April, I got gangster a little bit because she said, Father, I thank you for the million dollars. That's all she said. And I understand that she was talking to God about something specific, but I claimed it for me specific because she didn't say for the church. Y'all missed it. I don't know what million dollars you're thanking God for, but I'm thanking God for our own million dollars. You got to confess the word of God. Somebody say, run your mouth. I need about five of y'all. That's a little ghetto. 
that used to go to the candy lady, that played outside barefooted, that drank out the water hose. Let me update it. Maybe you played Zelda or Castlevania. I need somebody that understand what I'm saying. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA select, start. I need a few of those people. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google all of it. You're going to go outside today because your confession has nothing to do with your situation. Your situation is not satisfying your appetite, your current car. Your current car, you're grateful, you're thankful, but you're going to go outside today and say, I thank you for the relationship that we've had. I thank you for being faithful to me. But I speak over you. You will not break down. You will not mess up. And you're going to give me good gas prices. But I want to let you know, as I lay my hands on you, and put my key in the ignition or push this button. You don't have long to stay in my life. I call you replaced in Jesus' name. Well, that's not the Bible. That's the dumbest thing I heard. And this man got y'all in here screaming and jumping, talking about talking to cars. Jesus talked to trees. Jesus talked to seas. Jesus talked to deaf people. Jesus talked to dumb people. Jesus talked to mountains. And I can talk to a car. I'm in the Bible. I'm in the Bible. I'm in the Bible. <laughs> oh, we got to go. Stand up. Come on. We got to go. Come on. Stand up. Y'all cry too much. Come on. Stand up. Got to get your consecration. You got to get your confession. You got to get your, come on. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Don't worry about these people going out to service. Listen to me. Check me. Don't, don't miss this. You have to walk out of this place. Not, we're not in hope no more. We know. But here's the challenge. Some of you have no problem knowing that God can do it. You have a problem knowing it's going to happen for you. Old school said it this way. And we know that we know that we know that we know that we know. I don't know why they had all them no's, but they knew something. But let me help you with the tense of this. It's not going to happen. Somebody say, no. While you're in here, it's happening. Ladies, ladies, have you ever got dressed? With your little outfit, your makeup, and you knew you was cute? Yeah. Didn't nobody have to tell you, but you gave them an opportunity to tell the truth. You walked out and postured a certain way like, go on and say it. Because you know it, free, free your mind. You know you, you know I'm cute and you know you want to say it. And because you knew it, you didn't say, they're like, oh, you look so cute. You're like, thank you. you they like, you look so cute. like, and is, 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 period. <laughs> and then y'all. I need you to carry that same shenane spirit with you this week that you walking around knowing my prayers are being heard, knowing my body is being healed, knowing my family situation is... Well, who called you? Nobody. Who, who, who emailed you? No, my faith is my evidence. And I know it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Consistency. Don't break the cycle. Watch this. Time. So, watch. this is how I go. Today we ain't hear everybody jumping. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Three weeks go by. Six weeks. Nine months. 
a year. <laughs> no. Don't break your consistency. You're ruled by time. God is not. Come here. I will remain loyal to God and his Sometimes, big dog, sometimes, when it feel like God is taking too long, we get out of character. But then also sometimes, when God blesses you, you were humble before you got it, and you get a little arrogant when you get it. Anybody understand? Hey, you parent your kids, and your kids come, and they ask you for something? Mama, can I eat some ice cream? And you say, after dinner, well, the way I grew up, if you got out of character, based on that, you better have your songs, your soup, your flowers, and everything picked out. <laughs> or if you got the ice cream, you weren't gonna be able to eat it. You didn't have no teeth, no gums, they were swole, your mouth closed, you couldn't see it, your eyes pasted together. All your parents were saying is, don't get upset with my process. I did not say no, I said later. Oh, we gotta go. Can I give y'all some favor blockers? I'm only gonna give you three. I have 10, I'm only gonna give you three. Here we go. A rejection spirit. You'll block your favor if you have a problem that a spirit of rejection is on you, that you feel that people will reject you because people have rejected you. No, if favor is on your life, everybody's ready to help you. You got to continuously tell yourself that. The next one, number two, is the spirit of fear. If you stay in knowing, fear will be reduced. And then number three, number three, low spiritual esteem. In the workplace, you're very confident. In the spiritual place, you're very non-confident. You have to have an esteem. Say this, say, I'm worth God. I'm worth God's best. No, this blessing don't have to come off the value rack. This, this blessing don't have to come with a coupon. No, you, you don't have to coupon for this one, y'all. I said, I was going to give you three. Here's another one because some of you need it. Number four, number four, number four. This is a favor blocker, pride. How can God raise up someone to use their power, ability, to influence, to help you, ask you, do you need help, and you won't take assistance? Look at somebody and say, get over yourself. Look back at him and say, that's your last time talking to me like that. So last time now, I let you go with the first one because I was crying. Now that I done dry up my tears, watch your mouth. And I'm not playing. Let's pray. All eyes closed, all heads bowed. The greatest gift that you could ever receive is the favor of God through Jesus Christ. He raised him up to use his power his ability, his influence to help you, to help you escape a life of torment and to embrace a life of eternal blessings. That's through salvation. If you're online or in this building, my question to you is if you die today, where do you spend eternity? If you can't say I'm on my way to heaven, I wanna include you in my prayer. I'm not gonna embarrass you, ask you to move from your seat. I just wanna know, can I pray for you and give you some free information right where you stand? Pastor Campbell, I'm not certain if I die today, I'm on my way to heaven. If that's you online, I want you to type, that's me. I want you to type, that's me, so I know who I'm praying for, but more importantly, who's choosing heaven. All over this auditorium, wherever you are in here, in Overflow, wherever you are, on the count of three, I just want you to slip your hand in the air, and the ushers are gonna give you some free information to help explain the decision that you just made. Pastor Campbell, I'm not sure if I die today. Please include me in your prayer, or I need to rededicate my life to Christ. Please include me in your prayer. Here we go. One, two, three, slip that hand in the air and hold it there, hold it there. I see your hand right here. I see your hand right there. I see your hand right there. I see your hand right there. Yep, I see your hands right here. 
Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anybody else? Anybody else? I don't want to overlook you. I don't want to overlook you. If you held your hand up and didn't receive anything, would you just raise it one more time so you can get the information? Everybody that raised their hand and everybody in this room, repeat after me to support them. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus thank, you so thank you so much for your love, for your love and your life. And your life. Jesus, Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior. Teach me how to live an overcoming life for you. I confess. I'm changed. I'm saved. I'm forgiven. I'm free. In Jesus' name, will you shout amen? Amen. The next 30 seconds of your life is crucial. If you don't have a church home, if you're not growing where you're going, this is a moment for you. I'd be honored to be your pastor to serve you with humility and integrity, to teach you the simplistic word of God so you can live an overcoming life. I'm talking about church membership, what does it take to join this church? Simply wanting to be here. Partners, don't you believe people right now, this moment, need to join this church? Yep. If you're online and you're joining our church, I want you to type, take over. What are they gonna type, y'all? Because this is our year to take over. There's gonna be a link you can click on that information. Those of you that are in here, on the count of three, I just want you to wave at me. If you come for the first time, found us online, invited by a friend, you joining. Oh, y'all ain't even let me count yet. Here we go. One, two, three. Wave at me. I see you. 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 Okay. This is what we're going to do. Pastor Mercedes, she's standing right here. I need three minutes of your time. Nothing strange or weird is going to happen. I need to take you to a private area to be able to just get a quick membership profile so I can contact you this week. Everybody that raised their hand and everybody that didn't raise your hand, you know you need to join this church or you want to join this church. Get your Bible, your books, your personal belongings. If a friend or family member came with you, they can walk with you. But I want you to come get some love and go to the private area. Let's celebrate everybody that's walking this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Everybody that's joining, walk this way for me. Come on. Everybody that waved at me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I saw way more hands than that. Come on. 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 Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Look at the person beside you. Hey, look at the person beside you and ask them, are you obeying God? If he's nudging you, say, if he's nudging you, move. Man, don't worry about all these people. If you know you're supposed to join this church, get out of your seat. And come on, is there anybody else wave at me if you know you're supposed to join this church today? Anybody? 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 Pastor Mercedes, will you come and dismiss us? Thank y'all. I love y'all. But amen. We thank God for the word, explosive favor. Amen. So just a few announcements. If you are a new partner and you have not completed Next Steps, Next Steps 2.0 is immediately following the service. And so if you go out in the lobby, there'll be signs and people there to actually take you to where you need to go. And then ladies, it is the Odd Getaway. Our Odd Getaway is um, coming soon in September. And so here's the information. You don't want to miss this opportunity to enjoy and have a getaway. It will be unforgettable. So please make sure you join us. And then this Wednesday is Reset. Yes. So Reset, meet us here Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. And for you ladies who are 18 to 29, there is something special just for you. So it is just us. Go ahead and scan that QR code. Remember, 18 to 29, Lady C is going to connect with you, so scan the QR code. So these are all of our announcements. Make sure you look at the TFC app 
for additional announcements. So Father, we thank you for this day, God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are concerned about us, Father. And we thank you for the explosive favor that is happening over our lives, Father. I thank you right now that we will see the favor of the Lord this week, Father. Allow us to be, be your people, God, and to do what you've called us to do, Father. So we love you and we thank you, Lord. For us in the name of Jesus, we pray. Have an amazing TF, um, amazing day, TFC and Faith Nation.